heart is for keeps. Inside is a dramatic thriller written by Ben Hopkins and directed by Vasilis Katsupis. It stars Willem Dafoe, the Green Goblin himself, as an art thief who gets trapped in a New York penthouse when a job goes wrong. He struggles to survive, attempt to escape, and retain his sanity as the days draw on. Also, his name is Nemo, which is probably a reference to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but I haven't read it, so the significance is beyond me. Inside is exactly what it appears to be. It's a bottle movie, taking place solely in the lavish penthouse, with a minimal cast. But really, it's the Dafoe show. I think this is a very intriguing concept concept for a movie. At a certain point during my viewing, I thought, hey, this is kind of like Castaway, but instead of being stranded on a remote island, he's stranded alone in the most populous city in the US. That's a pretty cool concept, and Willem Dafoe is inspired casting. You tell me there's a movie about a man slowly going crazy in an isolated environment, and I'd tell you to go get Willem Dafoe. That's his bread and butter. Dafoe's performance is obviously great, and I appreciated the direction and innovative things the movie has Nemo do in order to survive and try to escape. However, I do feel that the movie could have been tightened up significantly. It runs at an hour and 45 minutes, and I think 15 minutes or so could have been shaved off to help the pace. There's something to be said about a slow descent into madness, but how slow is a fine line that's difficult to walk, and inside wobbles on that line. Bump, step, bump, bump. The movie gets a bit too abstract for my taste during a few scenes, and while Defoe gives a great performance, I was kind of hoping for the script to allow him to get a little crazier and over the top. Give me Willem Defoe screaming and monologuing about Triton every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Hark! Triton! Hark! I do appreciate many things about Inside, but I felt it could have been a lot better with such an interesting premise and casting. I give Inside a 3 out of 5. I'll give a hesitant yes recommendation. Just know what you're in for. It's no lighthouse, but there is something to enjoy about it. Willem Dafoe is one of those actors that I just love to watch, and I kind of hope his next project is pure insanity. Hark!